What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. I want to tell you about this new split I wrote. And I, haven't, I don't have it published yet. It's going to be in my new Fat Loss Factor book. I'm revising it. Give me about a month. I, I haven't gotten to write the book because I've been traveling and you guys don't even want to know what's going on in my life as far as career is concerned. It's good things. But I'm telling you, I don't got much time to be writing no books. But I'm going to finish this. I got two pages left. The current book is at fatlossfactorbook.com. And there's a three phase um, part, uh, part bro, bro split, part Dorian split, part hybrid, as I like to call it. Now, the reason I wrote this workout is it can be used four to six days. Here's the split. Got a day one is a quad dominant leg day. Day two is a push day. You chest, shoulder, tricep, blah, blah, blah. Day three is pull, which is back, trap, bicep mostly. Uh, day four is lower body hypertrophy, mainly focusing on hamstrings, okay? Day five is upper body, just upper body, the full upper body, chest, back, shoulders, triceps, biceps, and I call it the sexy club scene blast. You can do this any five days of the week with two rest days, okay? You can take your rest day on Saturday and Sunday, or Wednesday and Friday, or whatever two days, whatever works for your schedule. Um, you also can do abs two to three times a week. Um, in, this in this book, I will have a video connected to where my brother and I go over our best ab workouts. Uh, just look up top five ab workout, top five abs pro blinder, and it'll come up in the search. Um, you can substitute any exercise with movement for same muscle. Let's say you can't, you don't have a hammer strength throw machine. Just do something where you're pulling some fucking weight into your body. Okay. Order can be moved around on a given day, but try not to. Where if you, uh, if, let's say the chest press machine is taken up on upper body day, you can do back first. Is what I mean. Um, when you get more than the max number of reps. Let's say you get 12 when it is a 6 to 12 rep range exercise, then you increase the rate by 10 pounds. Basically, if you're doing 6 to 12 reps, you start at 6, and after 3 weeks you get 12, that's when you raise the weight 10 pounds. So that's how I usually um, end up raising weights. Um, for example, let me just give you an example day. Um, it'll be out of my book, but essentially, let's say squat, um, quad dominant leg day. Um, I like people to warm up ballistic stre stretching and bodyweight squats. Static stretching before training is a no-no as far as strength and hypertrophy are concerned in my opinion because obviously overload, more strength, more overload, more hypertrophy. Um, you start with squats and I go over the rep ranges. You start, Then you go leg press, hack squat, straight leg deadlifts, leg curl, leg extension, standing calf raise. Most of these are done for about three sets each. Um, six to 12 reps. Some of them 10 to 15 reps depending on the muscle group and what rep range I feel will respond the best. Uh, this program can be done between uh, eight and 12 weeks. Okay. I, I like switching up every eight to 12 weeks. I, I love it because here's the thing. Like if you needed to go four days a week, you're still hitting every muscle. You're hitting legs twice, hitting every muscle group at least once. And then you get, let's say my wife today, she had to take the day off because we had too much shit going on where she's able to take Friday off. She still got Monday through Thursday done, got every bit of her upper body done, every bit of her lower body twice. And for women, and men especially, lower body, y'all need to build some fucking legs. Okay, now with that Friday, you're hitting everything twice. Also, bonus, here's what I do. Since arms are my weak point, I throw in an all arm day on Sunday or Saturday, depending which day is better for me to work out. Now, let's say you have a weak back. You can do back. Let's say you have a weak chest. You could do chest. I wouldn't recommend doing legs simply because that's three times a week. That's a lot of pressure on your joints. Um, just like I was talking to someone about Smolov, Brandon Boehner. He's uh, He owns the press gym in Minnesota. He came over to my house and we were talking about it. And he tried Smolov and his issue was joints, doing legs, doing squats four days a week. So I recommend keeping legs to about two days a week. So anything upper body, I believe you could throw in on that weak point day, which makes it a six day a week split for advanced trainers isn't unheard of. Uh, and you don't have to do it every week. The thing is hit four days and you're good. Hit the first four. So that's it guys. If you really, 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 really can't wait for this, I'll try and get it out as fast as possible. Email Mark, M-A-R-C at tigerfitness.com and I'll email you over the program. It's in Microsoft Word. It's nothing fancy, but uh, I figure, hey, you know what? I love you guys and I will be getting a lot of comments. When's it coming out? So if you want a sneak preview of this before Fat Loss Factor Book 2 comes out, shoot me an email. I'm Mark Lobliner, tigerfitness.com. Cause making gains, that's not a game. Boom!